Já se ouvem nossos passos a chegar. Já se ouvem nossas vozes de alegria. Neste dia que é uma bênção para a igreja reunida, Jesus Cristo nos congrega e faz irmãos. Como são belos os pés que anunciam a paz e as mãos que repartem o pão. Na refeição do Cordeiro, da palavra, vinho e pão, somos o povo de Deus em comunhão. Bom dia e bem-vindos todos os peregrinos aqui presentes. Vai presidir esta celebração Bispo Paul Cariuk, que é de Embu Delsis, Quênia. E estão aqui presentes também alguns missionários da Consolata, Padre Matias, irmãs missionárias da Consolata, e eu sou o Padre Bernard, missionário da Consolata. A missa vai ser celebrada em língua inglês, que é a língua oficial do Quênia. So the mass is going to be celebrated in English. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also in your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we gather together as a people of God to present ourselves to God with so merciful, loving. We want each one of us to experience his love, care, and protection. We present for our intentions through the intercession of Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Fatima, who has a wonderful message for us, a message of salvation. We pray for all our intentions, knowing that God always listens to us. Brethren, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the end of the Holy Spirit, one gone forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Gideon 
Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and the prophets. These were men who through faith conquered kingdoms, did what is right, and earned the promises. They could keep a lion's mouth shut, put out blazing fires and emerge unscotched from battle. They were weak people who were given strength to be brave in war and drive back foreign invaders. Some came back to their wives from the dead by resurrection, and others submitted to torture, refusing release so that they would rise again to a better life. Some had to bear being pilloried and flogged, or even chained up in prison. They were stoned or sewn in half, or beheaded. They were homeless and dressed in the skins of sheep and goats. They were penniless and were given nothing but it, ill treatment. They were too good for the world, and they went out to live in desert and mountains, and in caves and ravines. These are all heroes of faith, but they did not receive what was promised, since God had made provision for us to have something better, and they were not to reach perfection except with us. The Word of the Lord. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed be the Lord who has shown me the wonders of his love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said in my alarm. Yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love the Lord, all you saints. He guards the faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you all spirits. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples reached the country of the Gerasenes on the other side of the lake. And no sooner had he left the boat than a man with an unclean spirit came out from the tombs towards him. The man lived in the tombs, and no one could secure him anymore, even with a chain, because he had often been secured with fetters and chains, but had snapped the chains and broken the fetters, and no one had the strength to control him. All night and all day, among the tombs, in the mountains, he will hold and gash himself with stones. 
catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and fell at his feet and shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? Swear by God, you will not torture me. For Jesus had been saying to him, Come out of the man and clean spirit. What is your name? Jesus asked. My name is Legion. He answered, for there are many of us. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the district. Now there was there on the mountainside a great herd of pigs feeding and the unclean spirits begged him, send us to the pigs, let us go into them. So he gave them leave. With that, the unclean spirits came out and went into the pigs, and the herd of about 2,000 pigs charged down the cliff into the lake, and there they were drowned. The swine herds ran off and told their story in the town and in the country round about, and the people came to see what had really happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there, clothed and his, in his full senses, the very man who had the legion in him before, and they were afraid. And those who had witnessed it reported what had happened to the demoniac and what had become of the pigs. Then they began to implore Jesus to leave the neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed begged to be allowed to stay with him. Jesus would not let him, but said to him, Go home to your people and tell them all that the Lord in his mercy has done for you. So the man went off and proceeded to spread throughout the Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him, and everyone was amazed. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God today gives us a wonderful message of who God is to us. The first reading gives us the names of those who persevered, Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, and Samuel, and many prophets. And we are told that they conquered kingdoms through their faith in God. They were not afraid of anything, not even vicious animals like lions, fire, battle, everything. And yet we are told these people longed to see the day of the Lord. But how blessed are we that we are the people who have seen the day of the Lord. That the Lord Jesus Christ came to give us that communion with God that which was destroyed by sin. And through his suffering, through his passion and death and resurrection, Christ has restored us. Christ has restored that relationship, that communion with God. This first reading reminds me of what happened in Kenya in the year 2015, in the month of April, when one of our universities in Garissa was attacked by terrorists from Somalia, al Sabab, and we lost over 140 young people. 
That morning, these young people, some of them were in prayer, allowed five in the morning, presenting their prayers before the beginning of the day. Yes, to the enemies they lost their life, but to God they gained their life. If we have faith in Christ, for sure, life is never lost. St. Paul uh, says, nothing can separate us from the love of God, not even persecution, not even death, perseverance. We have hope. God never abandons his people. The second reading from the Gospel of Mark, we are told of a man who was possessed by unclean spirits, and we are told no one could help him. He suffered greatly. No one could restrain him because he was possessed. In this 21st century, so many people are possessed because of the structures we have, at times the laws made by the government, where life is destroyed, where Christian faith has no meaning, where life has lost that essential meaning. But we are told with the intervention of Christ, those demons have no longer any power. Dear brothers and sisters, Christ is here to reparate us and to set us free. Yes, the devil would like to possess us to destroy our life, the seed which God has given us through his Son. Let us have hope, let us trust in Jesus. The message of our lady, the message of our mother, our lady of Fatima, is a message of salvation to each one of us. We have to conquer sin, we have to destroy sin. And we have to conquer sin, not by the power of human, but by the divine power, power which comes from Christ. We can only do this if we are in communion with Christ. This is what we seek in every celebration of the Eucharist, in every prayer, to be in communion with Christ, who has come to us through his word, and especially through the Eucharist. Christ Jesus, may you be our strength, Repair it us and set us free. Seis ponto vinte e três, nosso canto do ofertório.
katika shida bwana awabariki 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 bwana awabariki bwana awabariki bwana awabariki mirele bwana awabariki bwana awabariki bwana awabariki mirele Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we offer you this gift of reparation of praise so that in celebrating this feast of the blessed Virgin Mary you may observe us from all sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give him thanks and praise. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, the one through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as a Jew at his passion, so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we now declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Santos! Santo, Santo es el Señor. Santo, de mi Señor. Amor, o céu y la tierra proclaman a vuestra gloria. O sana en las alturas, bendito que ven en nombre del Señor. O sana en las alturas. Santo, Santo es el Señor. Santo, eterno, seu amor. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the near eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her uh, to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Anthony, and our Bishop Paul presiding this Eucharist and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory Adonai is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and for Lord Jesus Christ, who sent the apostles, of peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant all peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Senhor, o oh meu pastor, 
Por isso nada em minha vida faltará. Tu és Senhor, o oh meu pastor. Por isso nada em minha vida faltará. Pelos prados e campinas, verdejantes eu vou. É o Senhor que me leva a descansar junto às fontes de águas puras. Repousantes eu vou, minhas forças, o Senhor vai From the cross, Jesus saying to his mother, This is your son. Then to the disciple, he said, This is your mother. Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy those heavenly sacraments, Grant us, we pray to you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Our Mass is ended. Salve, Salve. Salve.
Mate misericordie, vita do cedo, espes nostra salve. Ante clamamus, esules dirieve, ante suspiramus, Gementes et blentes, in a lacrima lum vale. Eia ergo, an vocata nostra, illos tuus, misericordes oculos, a nos convete. Et Iesum, benedictum fruntum vetris tui, nobis, post hoc esirium, ostete, o clemens, o A treze de maio, na cova da iria, a parceu brilhando a Virgem Maria. Ave, ave, ave Maria, ave, ave, ave Maria. Foi aos pastorinhos que a Virgem falou, Desde então nas almas nova luz brilhou. Ave, 